All right, everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Battlefield 4 live stream here at E3 2013 at the Los Angeles Convention Center in Los Angeles, California. I'm Alex Mendez, or commonly known as Golden Boy FCW, joined by Corey Dunn. And we have had some amazing games here today. We had a guy who just ran 54 and 4 in a game. No idea who that random soul is, but he will forever live on in, in history. It's Bravo. Bravo 15. 16. 16. 15, 16. Tweet out at uh, hashtag BF4 Bravo 16. <laughs> All right, that's a space in between. Make sure you also use hashtag Bravo 16. There you, you go. You'll forever be remembered out there. Yeah, we will always remember you, Bravo some great, 16. Great, great um, so, uh, you know, I was on Twitter, and uh, we're going to hop into some gameplay here, but I was on Twitter just now, and uh, the Battlefield Twitter actually had asked, uh, you know, what, what were you guys excited for? Uh, retweet for Levolution, favorite for Amphibious Assault, and a lot of people retweeted for Levolution. A lot of people really liking uh, what we're seeing here. I am excited to see what's going to come for Levolution in the future. It certainly is going to be very cool. And uh, there's just so much potential uh, down the line with some, some amazing maps. Look at this here, helicopter battle. What's going nice. on? So he's definitely, I mean, one of the things, too, is that uh, the Levolution is not just, um, you know, down to what we have right now. There's so many other options that are going to be available. That's right. That's right. And this helicopter, man, what, what, what driving ability? Well, so th we've, uh, there's been asked, uh, people have been asking for the Chinese uh, attack hopper. That's right. Helicopter. Yep, the Z, the Z10, uh, uh, Z10W. The Zebra. The Zebra? Z. The Z what? Z. A Z. A Z is in Zebra? Oh, okay, that's fine. Zebra. 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 Or Z. You know, I'm surprised that he actually has not been able to pick up a lot of kills here, uh, despite the fact that there's just a row of uh, infantry that are that are over by that by that dock there. Uh, pretty shocking. Yeah, so he's going to be shooting at the blue players for those that, uh, or the blue icons. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what a catch. In the oh, water. Oh, no. <laughs> and that happened. Oh, look at there, Hawk. Uh, let's go ahead, first person perspective. This fine gentleman here, uh, Bravo09, is actually using the Hawk. Um, but uh, you know what, though? Alpha 30 seems to be in the heat of things. Finding a player in front of him, that's not going to happen. He is going to get taken out. Another player here, Alpha 25, finding one in front. He drops him along with his teammates for support. When you work with your squad, you really are going to start to see the benefits um, in this game. And I'm, I'm hoping that we see more squad play as well. Yeah, not only tactically, but also in the, uh, the field upgrades. If you work as a squad, uh, you'll see that uh, this uh, field upgrades will continually grow. That's right. Uh, currently, right now, there's uh, two presets. That's the offensive and the defensive. So level one right now on the offensive side is actually going to be. You're going to find that out Darn first. Darn it. I didn't think I, I tried to let that try let to stretch that out as possible. But uh, level one is going to be sprint boost currently. Of course, all of these types can change. We're in pre-alpha. That's uh, right. Level two is ammo boost, grenade boost for level three. And for level four is suppression resistance now for those of you that didn't get the chance to be able to listen to the interview with Alex earlier uh, in terms of talking about the squad uh, it is the the way that the uh, uh, the field upgrades work uh, they're based individually so each player within your squad can have its own set of uh, field upgrades they don't all have to be the same that's right um, and uh, they you don't have to have you know Ooh. whenever you're talking about public servers one of the uh, the factors that are involved is, okay, you two sprint, I got uh, grenade boost, you got this, you got that. Well, in public servers, it's a little bit difficult to say, everyone, you need to get a certain type yeah. um, without it being noticeable to the individual player. So with this being said, if you, you can still just work tactically as a squad, uh, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, the field upgrade is designated just for the individual. Yep, yep. So that is uh, some uh, you know good information for you guys out there. We know that you guys have been uh, asking for a lot of info, and we certainly have uh, been doing everything in our power to make sure we're giving you guys the information, the relevant information that you need. So, uh, yeah, and we're looking now at this one player. Uh, Alpha 30 is going to be making his way over to the A flag, and I think they might end up... Uh, I think he might end up trying to cap this one here. So he, it, and he's also going to be uncontested as well, which is pretty good. So he is going to have some teammate support, but no squad members in the area. But he's finding one guy in front of him, able to throw down some shots and cleaning him up. Very nice. But there's one behind him, and he gets dropped. So right now, the score going to be 606 to 753. Currently, the Chinese side are leading. They also have two points uh, going on here, both B and C. Of course, A and E are contested by the U.S. side. 
Uh, but of course at the same time the D flag there for the U.S. team is also being contested as well. They're really struggling trying to be able to pick up that A point right now as right now we're on board with Alpha 25. He's right over there towards that uh, A area by the residential. Uh, but uh, so far he's just trying to stay alive a little bit longer. Yep, that is right. And oh, B right there. Yeah, so he's going to make his way over to B here and finding two players as well. So he could probably clean them up. There's also a vehicle there. A player did end up getting out of that one. So, oh, this is going to be so dirty if he's able to take out Bravo 11 on that uh -oh. one. Now he's going to find another one as well. Oh, no. He managed to take out two, and there's no other players in the area. That last guy actually ended up dropping down to the bottom there by B, and that is the end of that run. So uh, that one Abrams caused a lot of problems. Well, there's for, also uh, another tank right behind him, too. They there. can kind of work together here That's right. and pick apart this portion of the map right now. Of course, they're trying to take here towards Metro. Right now, one player out in the distance. going to be a squad leader and see if they might be able to pick him off as well. Nice coverage overall, though. They're, but uh, you got the gunner watching the uh, one point, and uh, the main driver is kind of watching there inside of the B area. They need to be able to swing back around. That squad leader causing so much damage so far. Finally going to get taken down as uh, they're doing a great job. You can see that starburst smoke right now. Yep, um, right in as, uh, Looks like that tank finally got taken down. Back over here on the other side of the map, we're going to have uh, over there towards D in the arcade. We're on board with Alpha 31. Yeah, that CZ3A1 in hand. He's going to find a player in front of him, able to pick him off. So he's uh, doing a good job bobbing and weaving and taking advantage of his cover here. He is going to be low on the health as well. Bear that in mind. So he's not going to have much fight in him. He needs that regeneration to kind uh -oh, of kick in. Oh, for your flank. Yep, and, or a teammate. Never mind. He is going to get picked off. Now looking at Alpha 18 with uh, maybe a teammate here in MRAP. No, he's just going to go ahead and and get reckless with it and, and hopefully try and see if he can pick off a few kills with this one. This is what you were doing earlier today, right, Corey? No, this is actually, in, uh, I had asked the question on day two of how effective are the uh, the vehicles now in Battlefield 4. And honestly, not that effective whenever you drive off a bridge. <laughs> and so he's basically going to try to be able to back out of it and uh, see how long he can last uh, right there. Is he still... Uh, gonna try to stay with it. He believes in himself. Oh man, he could actually have probably taken that uh, that uh, vehicle, the M wrap up the staircase. Uh, but really, it's extremely effective whenever you have a solid gunner. That's uh, true. So what I had earlier, whenever I was playing uh, the Battlefield 4 demo, I re moved over there towards the. I was actually playing on the Chinese side, and I drove straight through the map and got towards the A flag. Uh, from there and over there towards the residential area, pushed up inside of the parking garage, just got high enough so my gunner could see over the top, and he just sprayed and prayed and picked up three. Wow, that's pretty awesome there. And uh, look at this here, by the way. Alpha 32 is going to end up getting picked off from behind any second now. He is taken out finally. One player going to be up top, and this is going to be Alpha 09 trying to uh, take out his teammates with a shotgun. That's not cool, bro. But uh, Alpha 28, he's now going to be sniping. There's going to be two players up on top by C. So expect to see this gunfight cross the uh, cross the the ceiling or the roof. I'm I'm sorry, the ceiling, the, the roof. I <laughs> did it yeah, again. So one of the things that I would recommend in Battlefield 4 right now, especially uh, with this 20 times zoom, I would even add the uh, the because sometimes it's hard to navigate for the beginning for those who are just now starting it's hard to navigate whenever you're scoped all the way in so let's go ahead and hop in uh, right now you got alpha 31 playing decent just i think he just uh, got taken out that's uh, right so we're on board here with alpha 25 just kind of cycling that through again what i was trying to get to for those early stages when you're trying to get accustomed to how the uh, these 20 times zoom works take advantage of the fact that you also have an accessory uh, in the in terms of the the uh, canted iron sight and so what you can do is you can go ahead and start off with the canted iron sight and then switch over to the side with your 20 times zoom that way you can get allocated perfectly and aligned where you need to be and make your shots where they count so you can make those fine detail moves uh, with a 20 time zoom and use the canted uh, iron sight to make those quick adjustments. Yeah, that's right. You know, you want to have that uh, that versatility uh, in your loadout and uh, canted iron sight. 10 and 8, there we go. Yeah, the uh, canted iron sight certainly does allow that. So now uh, Alpha 17 on your screen, he's going to be driving that MRAP as well. But there is going to be an enemy vehicle right in front of him and they might be able to take him out. So if we actually shift over to third person perspective here, you can see that the chase is going to begin as he's, well, follow him, follow him, man. Oh, Oh, he ended up hitting a pillar. It's okay. And hitting it again. And you know what I mean? One more time. One more time. Third time's a charm, usually. 
And he goes for it again. Oh, he, he, he actually backed up. Thought he was going to turn. He I, didn't even go for the turn. I think he's actually trying to take it out, but uh, down to eight health for that uh, vehicle is going to take that one out. So back over here, we're on board with Alpha 25. He's over there towards the uh, the A flag, which they currently already uh, possess. So, Yep, they hold this one down. There is going to be one player, though, in the vicinity, so they certainly do need two. to be careful. That, uh, that, that player over there took out two of them. Coming over there towards the back Ooh. staircase, towards the U.S. base. Uh, he's going to try to be able to come back around. He's nice little movement so far, but he needs to be on the lookout. They, that player was watching exactly towards that position. Drops back down towards that staircase. He's going to try to be able to come back around on the flank. Uh, we utilize in the high ground. It's going to be Alpha 25. Let's see. He's going to try to be able to look out. He needs to watch it, worry about his backside. He dives deck back down, and that player is still chasing after him. He knows exactly where he's at. Alpha 25 is lost. Turns around at the right no. time. Sprays hip fire, and his other teammate oh, was out there to man. be able to help him out. To finish things off. That is unfortunate, dude. He could have, uh, he could have gotten him on that one, and then cleaned up that second guy as well. But you know what, though? Alpha Squad managed to stay alive. Alpha 26, most importantly, but he got down to the ground so fast when he saw that tank. I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing. Yeah. So one of the things, I mean, it was a, it was a ring around the gro uh, ring, wow, ring around the rosy at a grand scale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ring around the scale war. Ring around the scale. Ring around the rosy. War edition. All right, hang on. There you go. That's the, on the same page with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Day three, guys. We're, we're dwindling down at the oh, very man. end of E3. We've seen some epic moments where we talked about having the ability to counterattack. We've seen levolution happen all over, whether it's at a major scale watching the skyscraper fall or the minor things where you're talking about the metal detectors, hopping up on top of cars, setting off car alarms, all of these different types of elements. Also, we're talking in terms of the commander mode. Yep. I mean, there's so many different things, even talking about field upgrades, the attachments that you can have, even even on your secondary. Yeah. Everything here in Battlefield 4. And yep, if you're hot, as hyped as I am, we should all both head over to Amazon.com and pre-order right now. I do agree with you on that one, Corey. You, and, and if you're joining us on Amazon, once again, thank you very much for watching here today. And of course, you know, Twitch TV, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I am under the belief that the industry would not be where it is right now if it wasn't for uh, live streaming and what Twitch TV has given out. So uh, I'm just a huge fan of it. And, uh, you know, also another shout out to the sponsors, AMD. The visuals that you're seeing here, not possible without a AMD. It, you know, really, they've just been pushing the boundary as far as graphics are concerned. Astro headsets. It's going to be an awesome Battlefield 4 specific Astro headphone oh, that will so be coming cool. out. And you had a chance to speak with like Walter Carbon about fiber. that. That looked very, very cool. Carbon fiber headphone and Razer, too. Can't forget about Razer. They have been providing the equipment here on the station for keyboards and mice. And you know what? The players have been loving them. They even said that they had players that, that actually purchased them as well just based off of their play sessions with uh, uh, here in Battlefield 4. And of course, you know, there are people that are using the Xbox One controller, the new the new next-gen controller from Microsoft that has also been uh -oh. uh, in service here. And here comes the skyscraper. Still a breathtaking sight every single time you see it. Really just something, a sight to behold as this tank is going to be rolling away. And look at that visual. Man. Insane. Insane. Insane in the membrane. You you are you are you are on fire, Corey. Really. You are just you're on a whole nother level of, of uh, nerdiness right now. You call me a nerd. Man, I, I've I've never seen you this excited for anything in a in a very long time. You <laughs> You were just like, I was playing, I was so into it, and oh, Alpha 04, Good, by the way. We go. All right, we're going to stay on board here with Alpha 04 right now, taking a look at all different aspects you want to see in the overview. We got it for you. You want to see in third person, we got that for you too, but you probably want first person, so we'll stay here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and again, guys, uh, I want to thank everyone for reaching out on social media, by the way. Uh, you guys are all amazing. They've been great. I, uh, you know, Corey can attest, I'm, I'm checking my phone right now as we speak, just so that this way I could see what you guys are talking about, and then we could talk about it as well, because, you know, it's always fun to have just nah, that nah, little nah, bit nah. of a... Uh, what? Uh, what? Just keep going. Who are you? Who? Who? The, about the this player right here. Why you want him to dive for? He's swimming. So he can stay underwater. He doesn't need to be oh, spotted. Oh, dive. 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 <laughs> dive. Okay. There you go. So uh, someone actually ended up bringing up Bravo 16 um, on the stream. He was like, who the heck is Bravo 16? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody needs to pick him up quick uh, for their next team. Uh, he oh, was playing man. pretty well. That is pretty There's going to be players now, I'm telling you, that are going to be out there. Uh, that are in the competitive scene that are going to be going by the name Bravo 16. Yeah, it's like, man, I heard about that Bravo 16 guy over at uh, E3 2013. It was, it was crazy. And, uh, you know, I want to be like him.
<laughs> why why are you making fun of the way I chalk, Corey? John, it's not even cool, man. <laughs> you see, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I swear. We, we, you know, in case you guys haven't noticed, we, we just have a good time, and uh, hopefully you are too. So, uh, Alpha 04 at 21 and 4 right now. And wait a minute. Bring up the scoreboard one more time if you don't. You don't mind. Bravo Commander, 20 and 0. Well, Definitely seeing the effectiveness of the Bravo Commander. And uh, who actually is the Bravo Commander? It's a girl. Okay. No, it is not. It is. It, it is. is a girl. It's a girl. So awesome. Yeah, you can see it right there. Boom. Just uh, mind blown. She's just she's just like, well, you know, I'm just going to destroy that. I'm going to destroy that. Maybe get around to here and destroy that. That certainly is really cool stuff, man. She's getting a lot of advice. A lot of advice. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back into the game right now. Yeah, that's right, and see what is going on here. And uh, we have Alpha 4 on screen once again. He is certainly doing a great job. He uh, Let's bring up the third-person perspective, by the way, and see what's going on here with uh, him KD-wise. He's 21-4 and four right now, 5.3 nice KD, uh, and he's wow, running around Tomahawk. with that hammer pack. Tomahawk just blew everything apart right there. That Tomahawk is so devastating when it comes on the effects of it, too. Like, you just see the smoke uh, popping up. <laughs> Look at that building there that's just exploding, exploding on the side. Exploding. That's certainly not cool, you know. They, I mean, that guy worked hard uh -oh, on building watch that Watch out on your backside. Oh, He's trying no. to be able to get around there. And he does. Goes quickly going prone. Uh, as we look at it, uh, trying to figure out exactly whether he's uh, recon or not. He does not uh, see this very last point. Alpha 4 wrapping around, trying to be able to toy with the back to and uh, it looks like he did get taken out. Yep, and uh, guys, just so you know that after this game, we have an awesome video coming up with Lisa. She's been on the floor talking with everyone about what's been going on here at the convention floor and uh, getting, you know, just getting your thoughts and, and feedback, you know, the fans that have been here at E3 2013. So uh, it certainly is going to be really cool. I think we should probably jump over to that video. What do you think, Corey? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, and I think that's probably going to be the case. We've been in our little uh, Battlefield 4 EA here, bubble. All day. Right here. We haven't uh, moved too far away, so let's get a, an outlook of uh, what Lisa has to say. But don't worry, we've got one more gameplay to show you, and we'll try to give you every aspect in that uh, 15 minutes of gameplay. We'll be right back after the break as we talk with Lisa and hear what's been happening all around the EA booth. functionality and commander capability then it's off to combat what was it like playing with 64 people in one game it was amazing everything was just all over the place it was so chaotic i like the squad based team having a, a 64 people being able to play was just uh, amazing you know and have it operate so smoothly I, there was no slowdown no lag i was just really impressed by the game it was pretty spectacular. A giant building collapsed, and I was shocked by the level of detail because everything got covered in dust. I haven't seen anything like that in, uh, in a game before. Favorite moment was probably the building destroying right in front of me. I was running along, see all dust going all over the place, and yeah, just legging it, trying to dodge it so I didn't get squished. Did you see anyone actually get buried by a building coming down? I did. Oh, you got buried? I did, yeah. <laughs> your preference and why? I did manage to get into a boat and uh, take down a helicopter at one point and then bailed out and instead of just like jumping into the water you get onto a jet ski and drive away so that was pretty epic I like that. I prefer to snipe I like to go on top of the building pick people off whilst they're taking control of the base. I prefer air because I like to see everything around me. I just like to look down like I'm like I'm stronger than everybody. Again, you know, um, I'm going to say land, but I like the options. Like, so you know what, I'm going to try a different tactical way, and uh, you know, I like the ability to have those options. I, I am a fan of Battlefield games, but this is definitely the next step forward. It was awesome. I'm really bad at first-person shooters, so they were using me as kind of like bait. So it was really fun just to get killed a lot. Let's talk about the graphics. How awesome are they? 
they are they're pretty great. They are a step above even Battlefield 3, which I thought, you know, it couldn't get better than this, and it it did. They managed it. It was insane. I, I love the fact that as soon as I started playing, I kind of got my attention right away. I was into the game. I was very excited. I felt like I was playing a next-gen game. It was just fantastic. We've come a long way since next from last gen to next gen, and they look great. It's really crisp. It's really. It's like I'm in there. I'm really immersed with everything around me, the environment. The textures and all everything is just a complete remake from what has been done in the past. I mean, Frostbite's definitely done a good job with that engine. Yeah, that next gen Frostbite 3, what, what? It's beautiful. I'm here with Alex, the multiplayer producer on Battlefield 4. Can you please explain to us this commander mode? All right. So we got Commander Mode running right here. Uh, it's basically uh, the um, tactical overview where one player on each side takes control over uh, all the squads. They can order them to attack the different objectives like you can see here. So basically it's this meta game on top of the game itself. Commander Mode was outrageously fun. It was great to be able to control everybody on the screen. I can see where everybody is at. Uh, it's tactical, so it's kind of like a both the order squads around and also the chess game between you and the other commander. Of course, it's not always so easy to uh, have your squad do your thing. So what we've done is that if, if the squad follows your orders, uh, that means that uh, they will get more points. I can use predator missiles. I can set up warships. I can set up huge amounts of just airship and battle time and just tell everybody where to go, which way to go, what flags to go to. It was amazing. So it means like team-based actions will help the team uh, feel the upgrade bar grow, which is essentially uh, small little upgrades you do uh, you get because of doing a team play action. How does the commander communicate to give those orders? So first of all, you have the in-game interface. Okay, you're, you attack objective alpha, and then you accept that order, uh, and then you can go ahead and do that. Also, you can communicate voice, of course. The commander thing was just de definitely helpful and definitely helped you find where you need to go and all that stuff. You can tell them instead of going to this place, you go to that place, and I'll cover you by giving you EMPs, I'll cover you by giving you a UAV to show what's around you, and I'll give you a couple of missiles to make sure you get there safely and take control. Here you see that an enemy has launched an uh, en enemy tomahawk incoming here, so what you could do is like tell people, you know, get the hell out! So did your team win? Oh yes, we won by a huge amount. 